Artificial Intelligence, Cybersecurity Series. Super excited about this one. Cisco releases a model specific for cybersecurity. This is a pretty big milestone. Cisco has launched the Foundation AI Group, which is formed to bring world-class domain-specific AI infrastructure to cybersecurity space. And this is the first release, the Llama 3.1 Foundational AI Security LLM, an 8 billion parameter open weight large language model purpose built for practitioners and it's open source. The model combines deep domain expertise with the flexibility and control needed for secure real world deployments. Now with this model, teams can build fine tune and deploy AI native workflows across the security lifecycle. The model is designed to help security teams think faster, act with precision and scale operations without compromise. Now this data set was curated specifically to capture the real world knowledge and context of security professionals like yourselves. Now it includes things, but not limited to vulnerability databases and threat behavioral mappings. This is things like CVEs, CWEs, and the MITRE attack framework, threat intelligence reports, red team playbooks, and real world incident summaries, and secure tooling documentation across cloud identity and infrastructure domains. And finally, compliance references and secure development practices, things like NIST, OWASP, and secure coding guides. Now, this is pretty amazing stuff to give back to the cybersecurity community. Now, I am running this on a Boss Game P3 mini PC gaming system. Now, it does have the Radeon GPU. I can't get it to work with the open web UI that I'm using. So I'm running this all on the general CPU. No hardware acceleration at all. Now, if we go to Hugging Face, we can pull down the model, the Foundations Security 8 billion parameter model. And you can go ahead and pull this. In my case, I need to use the GGUF format. And so somebody's already done the conversion of that. So I'm going to pull that model and give it a test. Let's see. So we'll go into Open Web UI. In the previous video, I showed you how to get this set up on your PC. And we'll go ahead and go to Admin Settings. We'll go to settings and models, and this is where we're going to download our model. Now we'll go ahead and put in the model. And this will take a little bit of time. I'm going to fast forward it. You don't need to see the pain here. It didn't take that long, by the way. Anyways, the models there. Let's refresh the screen. And go back into models. There we go. Models here. It's available. All right, let's check this out with a very quick and simple question. Tell me about MITRE ATT&CK framework and highlight the best areas of focus. Now, the first thing it does is says, well, let, let me understand this question a little bit better to clear up any confusion. So it's going to go through that. And this is running on general CPU. So it's not super fast, but 100% usable. You can ask it a question, let it draw out the answer, and then come back to it shortly. Now I'm going to accelerate the video by five times. Now I know I can't do that on the PC in real world. So maybe if I had the GPU or get the GPU working, things would be a little bit faster, but it's definitely usable even on general CPU. Now this is accelerated by the video by five times. And it talks about the MITRE ATT&CK framework, how it helps organizations identify and understand risks. And it continues to go on. And in fact, it not only talks about the MITRE ATT&CK framework, but it, then it gets into things like, hey, well, what is the most critical aspect of an effective cybersecurity program? So it decided to ask itself that question and then provided its results. And then it asked, how can organizations measure their cybersecurity maturity? And again, it talks about metrics and tracking. And then it talks about threat intelligence in the cybersecurity community. And then what is the difference between reactive and proactive cybersecurity? And then finally, it says, how can organizations ensure their cybersecurity strategies are effective? Now, maybe based on my question, I could have been more specific in the ask to ensure I got the exact answer I was looking for. But man, did it provide me a ton of information with a very simple question. Again, we're going to see how this goes in the next couple of videos.